Okay, I got some parts I just thought I would show, and then I'll show the status of what I did downstairs on the on the engine. So what I got here is I got a doghouse shroud. This shroud, I'm trying to figure out, you know, it has the air, air ducts here. Um, what's interesting is it doesn't have the thing that you normally mount the uh, coil to, so I gotta think about what I'm gonna do with the coil. Um, and let's see, it doesn't have anything in terms of the, uh, what do you call that, the uh, thermostat controlled uh, little va uh, ventilator things. Uh, but I got that and then this is the, these are the two pieces that fit on the back of it. And then I ordered this thing, which is I guess a welded fan that's gonna fit in there. Um, it has to go on my, I got a 90, 90 amp, um, alternator here so this guy here I need the hardware so I have I have, the, I have my bolts here and of course this is gonna go here on the back I ordered the hardware which mounts this to this but it's in the mail and then I also ordered the um, pulley that goes on the other side with the hardware um, up here this is all the old stuff I had before so my other three pistons and uh, push rod tubes, push rods, and the uh, lifters, or the rockers. So, I'll show you what I got going on my, uh, on the motor. So, right now what I'm doing, uh, so I tested my dips, new dipstick, that looks good. And I got a pulley with a sand seal. So what I've been looking at is how does the sand seal actually go on there? And the pulley, which is this guy, a nice pulley from CB, um, fits on there. Now this case was cut for a sand seal. And, but then what I got actually in the mail from CB was something that looked like this. This was in there, and this actually goes in here and will, uh, you know, simulate the cut for sand seal. But it's already, mine was already machined for sand seal. So I didn't have an actual sand seal without the metal thing. So I tried to wrangle this out. Um, and, you know, that would fit in here. It's like a small main seal looking thing. Uh, but I kind of wrangled up, you can probably see. There, I wrangled up the back side of this little spring. So I ordered a couple of, uh, I ordered two sand seals that go in a machined in case and there should arrive, I think tomorrow. Um, the thing about this is that there's shims that go here and you have to put the shims in before you can put in the sand seal so that you get the right uh, depth on this and in order to do that, I kind of have to mock up my alternator here with the fan shroud and the fan so that I get the depth of that correct so that I know where this top pulley lies. That way I can get it in the same line with the bottom pulley so that um, I know how many shims to put in this one and how many shims to put in that one. I have shims for both of them. So... That is my next step. Um, a couple other things coming in the mail today that I'll work with. Um, one is the dial indicator for my end play. And then, uh, well, we'll see what else shows up in the mail. All right.